Yo, what is up, my dudes? It is your boy, Pete Manzanelli, and we have another King of the Hill event taking place. It's King of the Hill 3. It's on October 25th and 26th. That's this week. It's at the Sugar House Casinos in Philadelphia, and the matchups are already set. We got the defending champ, Olivier Bousquet, squaring off against his longtime friend and fellow tight shirt wearing bro, Danny Coleman's. And on the other side of the bracket, we got Harvard adjunct professor, Brandon Adams, versus the World Series of Poker main event champion, Scotty Bloomsteins. And of course, yours truly, the boy Pete Manzanelli and one chug Dougie Polks will be returning to host, commentate, chug beers, and tilt the haters and losers into oblivion. It is going to be a truly, truly great time. But what I want to discuss today is something far more serious, okay? And that is the large black cloud looming over this event, over this tournament. And that, my friends, are the shocking, truly shocking allegations that were leveled against defending champ Olivier Bousquet after his dominating, almost too dominating, performance at King of the Hill 2. Dude, I don't know. So people up there, they there's doping allegations right now. Oh, that's amazing. They think that you've been juicing, yeah. and they've asked me. <laughs> they've asked me to get, have you, you do a pee <laughs> test after the match. Doing this, that's great. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're not going to be able to clear these results <laughs> right now. They're pending. There's an asterisk next to his win until he completes wow. this urine test. Olivier. Now, to Olivier's credit, he didn't run nor hide from these truly salacious rumors. And instead, he complied to the drug testing. In fact, later that night, he personally hand-delivered his urine sample directly to yours truly. The champ, uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh, he took the pee test, That's folks. Everybody. There it is, right there. I assure you, this is not apple juice. He dropped trow and pissed into it. Ooh, it's overflowing a little bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I was going to set it down, but then it goes out of view, so I guess I will just continue to hold your yeah, piss. They see it. They see it. That's All right. enough. And this is... um. We actually should Don't probably what test are it. You doing? <laughs> and because my smell test was inconclusive, I decided to send it to the higher ups and sent the sample to the United States Anti Doping Agency. And I luckily just received the results back in the mail, which I want to share with you all now. United States Anti Doping Agency, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Address to Pete Manzanelli. Let's blur out my address there. I don't want anyone to see that. <sighs> this is very nerve wracking. I would hate to have something like King of the Hill 3 mired in controversy. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Dear Mr. Manzanelli's, Per your request, the United States Anti-Doping Agencies received the following samples from Olivier Bousquet, sample number 6969420, on 1017 at the King of the Hill 2 tournament in Pittsburgh. Here we go. We are saddened to inform you that we cannot confirm nor deny the presence of any prohibited substance in Olivier's system because the sample had been tampered with? Due to your gross negligence opening the sample before sending to us, we are not able to come to any definitive conclusions? Did they just take a shot at the man's? We suggest retesting at King of the Hill 3 and remaining in accordance with the applicable sample rules and handling procedures? This is fucking bullshit. We appreciate your cooperation and supports of the United States of Anti-Doping Agency's efforts to ensure a drug-free playing field for all poker players and seriously, Travis T. Tigart's chief executive officer. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. I tried to expose the truce. I tried to bring integrity to the game of pokers. And in my haste, I compromised the results. I guess we will head into King of the Hill 3 with no answers, just an asterisk next to Olivier's name in the record books and the knowledge that we must remain incredibly vigilant, okay? I'm going to need everyone out there to tune in this Wednesday and Thursday at 5.45 p.m. on twitch.tv slash pokernighttv and keep your eyes open, okay? Let me know if you see anything suspicious at all with Bousquets and also Danny Coleman's, okay? That dude didn't just fall out of bed looking like that. Trust me, okay? Trust me. 
So if you see anything like duffel bags filled with creatines, maybe stray syringes, pills, anything, you shoot me a tweet on Twitter at Pete Manzanelli and I'll be sure to look into it to make sure we get the poker we deserve. Don't worry though, I'll be sure to collect an untampered with sample and soon all of us will know the truth. Until then, I am Pete Manzanelli, the eternal king of the hill. We will see you Wednesday and Thursday on Twitch. Peace out, chumps. Get paid. Get laid. Mm, I love you. Mm.